Hello, welcome to Apichip YouTube channel. Today we are going to see how we can connect to different storage services, cloud storage services such as FTP, SFTP, WebDAV, Amazon S3, OpenStack Swift, Backblaze B2, Microsoft Azure, OneDrive, Google Drive, or Dropbox from your MacBook. So in this tutorial, we are going to use this free software called CyberDuck. You can download this app for free from cyberduck.io. We will also put the URL of this website in the description of this video. To get started, to get started, first you have to visit cyberduck.io, then here in the top right corner you will see a button to download the app click on download button and you can download it both for windows and mac for free from this page so i'm just going to download the mac os version for this app As you can see, the file is getting downloaded. Once the download is complete, you can now click on this downloaded file, which will automatically extract the app from the zip file. Now, when the extraction is complete, this will automatically open Finder. And what you have to do is you have to take this cyberduck.app icon. And you have to drag and drop it in the applications folder of your sidebar. Once this is done, now the app is available to be used on your Mac. You can access the app from your Spotlight search. You can also go to Launchpad. And if I search for CyberDuck, I can see the app is installed. Now I will open this app. And there's this box asking me if I want to open it. I will say open. And Cyberdesk, Cyberduck is asking for permi permissions to send me notifications. It usually sends you notifications about file upload and downloads, right? So when you're uploading a large file, you can just put it in the background. And when the upload is complete, you will be getting a notification. So you, you can actually allow the notifications over here. Now, once this is open, you can now establish a new connection to any of the cloud storage services. So when I click this button, I can choose from the supported cloud services, which includes FTP, SFTP, Web DAV, Samba. Amazon S3, Google Cloud Storage, OpenStack, Rackspace, Windows Azure, Backblaze, Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, Files.com, Nextcloud, Open Own Cloud, Box, and so on. In this case, just to give you a demo, I'm going to connect to a SFTP server. Okay. Now, my server, I have to put the URL. So I'm going to put this URL. And then I need to enter a username. My username is here. I can also type my password. And then if you are using SSH private key, you can also select the private key over here. But this is just a server where I'm using a password. So I can just type the password over here. I can add this to Mac OS Keychain so that every time I don't have to enter the password again. And I can just click the connect button. Now it will take some time. Here at the bottom, you can see it says authenticating as user. Now it says login successful. Now I can see the contents of my remote server. You can see that there is a test directory. So when I double click on it, within a second, it goes inside the test directory. I can either click on the action icon over here, or I can also right click anywhere. Here in the main window 
and I get this option to create more folders, file, even upload a file, and so on. So I'm just going to create a new folder here. I'll call it test123, create. And here at the bottom, you can always see in the left bottom corner, you can always see the status of the folder creation or the file upload, right? So if I create a folder one more time with the name AppyChip, and now if you look at the when I, when I hit the create button, if you look at the left bottom corner, you will notice that it says making directory API chip, listing directory, and now it's done. And you can see that the directory has been created here. You can also right click and upload a file from your Mac. So I can let's say I want to upload logo.png. When I do the, do that, it opens this sort of a window where I can see the progress of the upload, right? So right now it says login successful. Now it says uploading logo.png. I can see the status of the upload. And now it says upload is complete. So if I go and, and by the way, it has created a tab here at the top. So if you notice, there is a tab at the left which is the file browser for the SFTP server that I'm connected to. And there is a second tab here called transfers where I can see the transferred files. So if I go back to the file browser, I can now see that the logo.png has successfully been uploaded to the remote server. I can even right click this and duplicate the file if I want to with a different name. Now here at the bottom it says copying logo.png and now it's done. So I can see a duplicate file has been created over here or I can download. Uh, now this file is only currently on the remote server. So I can now download this file to the downloads folder on my system. So now it is downloading the file and the download is complete there's also an option to synchronize an entire folder on the remote server this is very useful if you are using cyberduck with services like onedrive google drive or dropbox or even box.com There's an option to refresh. You can also stop an ongoing upload by clicking this button over here. You can disconnect from the server. And uh, there are a bunch of other options available in the file menu. Like you can create a URL to the file and so on. Also, once you are done, if you close Cyberduck, it is asking me to donate. Uh, it says this is free software. I'm going to say later here. And if I open Cyberduck again, you will notice that it it because I had saved the password in uh, Mac OS Keychain, it automatically opened the last open tab over here and also connected to the server and loaded the directory structure on the remote server. That's it for today. I hope you found this video useful. If this video was useful, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching the video on AppyChip. Have a nice day.